Hi, boys and girls. We're going to do some story problems today. Um, so in the packet, we left off on this one. Remember, you don't have to do these black and white pages that there are no colors on. They are just kind of a review. And normally we use these for homework. I tear those out ahead of time and send them home for homework, which is, I guess, what we're going to be doing when we go back to school. I'll tear all those out, use them for homework. And then the parents will know exactly what we're doing in the classroom because they're doing kind of the same thing at home. But parents, you won't have to do all of these pages anymore. <laughs> I bet you're thankful for that. Okay, so um, what they are, they're going to give us story problems. The problems are down here. I will read them to you, okay? If you can't figure it out and you need mommy and daddy to help you, mommy and daddy can read it to you. But if you follow along with me, you should be able to do it. Now, story problems, um, there's a lot of different ways to solve them. Sometimes you can do them in your head, but they're giving us a nice big box to draw a picture. And that's a great strategy to use when you're doing story problems. Okay, here's the problem. There are 14 children sitting on chairs. There is one chair with no child on it. How many chairs are there? Draw to show how you solve the problem. We're gonna see how many chairs all together, but let's go back and read it again. There are 14 children sitting on chairs. Now, I could draw 14 children, but that would take a long time, right? So how about we just make the heads? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? And they're all sitting on chairs. Now, I don't want to draw the whole chair, so I'm going to draw a little line underneath it, I think. You know what, I have got a great idea. I am gonna make the chairs, but I'm gonna make them super simple. I'll show you when I'm done, okay? So I'm just making a back and a chair. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And the circles are my kids. So sometimes when you're doing a story problem and you have to draw a picture, you don't have to draw exactly what it is. You just make something to represent the picture or the, yeah, because it takes too long to draw people. That would take me forever to draw 14 children, wouldn't it? Okay, so what I did is that uh, these are the little chairs. Look at how easy. I'll put it right here. I just drew like this. Looks like an H. Those are my chairs. Super, super easy. And I just drew a circle on each chair. Oops, those are my kids. Okay, now I get better go back and read it. There are 14 children sitting on chairs. There is one chair with no one on it. So I need to draw an extra chair, but there's no one on this chair. Might even make this one a little fancier. There we go. There, this chair is empty. There are 14 children sitting on chairs. There is one chair with no one on it. How many chairs are there all together? There are 14 with children and one without. 14 and one more is 15, right? If you can't get it that quick, then you go back and count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, we got that one all done, okay. Now, this one says there are 15 flowers. 10 flowers have a bee on them, have one bee on them, just like this one. How cute is that? How many more bees would you need to have one bee on each flower? Draw to solve the problem. How many more bees would you need? And down here, that's where our answer is going to go, but we've got this whole big space. So I'm going to start out. There are 15 flowers. Now, I'm going to draw flowers, but I'm not going to draw fancy ones. One, two, three, four, five. And tell you what, I'm, I'll put little stems on them, um, but you could even draw circles, right? You don't have to spend you to spend a half an hour drawing flowers, right? So let me keep going. I'm drawing 15, 15. Oh, that takes a long time even when they're not fancy. Okay, so I've got five on the top, five on the bottom. I'm gonna put a big watch. See, I know this is 10 because I've got five here, five here. Now I need five more. There's only, <laughs> there's four pages, but there's only one problem on each page because they know it's gonna take us a while to do these drawings. Okay, now, there are, I might put circles in the middle here. There are 10 flowers have a bee on them. So I'm gonna draw a simple little bee. I'm just gonna draw a body and a head. And there's my bee with the wings. And I might have to go back and do this later because it's probably gonna take too long. Okay. 
and then you guys you can just draw you don't have to draw a whole full-on bee with the antenna and the eyes and the wings and everything just make a bee and what i wish i had a yellow crayon here because that's what i would do i would make the bees with my yellow crayon 10 of the flowers have bees on them okay all right good for now i'm just going to put a circle Okay, I started drawing bees and it was taking too long. So on these, I just put a circle and I'll finish those later, okay? 10 of the flowers have bees. How many more bees would you need to make sure that there was a bee on every single flower? Well, I put bees on all 10 of these, but if we wanted bees on all of them, then we, it would be one, two, three, four, five more bees. I think you'll understand that better when I do, when I draw my little picture, okay? And I will post that so you can see it. Let's go on to the next page. There are 15, oh, all these uh, story poems are about 15. There are 15 children in Miss Sully's class. Let's change that to Mrs. Jenkins. There are 15 children in Mrs. Jenkins' class. There are five children in each row. There are three boys and two girls in each row. How many boys are in the class? This is a hard one, but I, I, I know how I'm gonna do it. There are 15 children in each, in Mrs. Jenkins' class. There are five children in each row. So I'm gonna draw the rows, I'm gonna draw desks, okay? One, two, three, four, five. There's five in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna pretend these are desks. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay, here's my desk, 15 desks, but the important thing, you need to put five in each row. Just don't put random 15 desks everywhere or it's gonna be really hard to figure this out. Okay, so these are all my empty desks. Now, let's read on. There are three boys and two girls in each row. So I'm gonna put, instead of drawing a boy, I'm gonna put B, can I do that? B for boy, B for boy, gotta read it again. Three boys and two girls in each row. One, two, three boys and two girls. I could have mixed them up, but I think it'll be easier for me to count if I just put my boys together. B, 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 G, G, okay? So I've got three boys and two girls in each row. Three boys, two girls, three boys, two girls. Now they're asking how many boys are, are in the class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wish they would have asked us how many girls. Let's count the girls too. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna put that over here. You guys don't have to, you just know me. I like to like just do a little bit of extra work, huh? There's six girls and nine boys in this class. Okay, we've got one more page. Count and tell how many, write the number. Uh, one, two, three, we know we have 10, 11, 12. This is a mid-chapter checkpoint. It's like a little review. 10, 11, 12, how do we write that? Well, we put a one first and two more, okay? The one stands for the group of 10 and two more. Now number two, draw a set of 14 objects. If you circle 10 of the objects, how many more objects are there? Okay, we're gonna do 10 objects. I'm gonna do stars, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Instead of putting these in a ten frame, I just made a big row. I made a row of uh, ten. Okay, but that's not fourteen. We have to add some more down here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it says to put ten objects together. Okay, then make the four more. That. Now we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 equals 10 and four more. 10 plus four. The next two are gonna be easy. We just need to count. I see 10 right here. 10 and one more is 11. I'm gonna circle that group of 10 so you guys can see it. I'm gonna circle this group of 10 too. Okay, over here we have lemons. Five and five is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And the last one says, write the number that shows how many flowers, 10 in the 10 frame, 11, 12, 13. So that was a good review of where we're at now. 
which we've gone all the way um, through 15. Okay, good job. Wow, we did, those were some hard story problems, huh? So you really, boy, you're really gonna have to watch the lesson unless mommy and daddy are gonna help you. Okay, good luck.